Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to animate a texture in the game. Um, so to begin I'm going to be using the basic uh, a basic item code. You can download this from my item textures tutorial. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing we're going to need um, in order to do this is obviously a texture. Uh, we can't use the basic texture that we have because obviously it has no way to be um, animated. So what um, I did is I went ahead and I created this little texture right here. Um, and it's just our basic item tutorial, but we have but I've changed the color in each of the frames. So, um, when you create your texture, Minecraft is going to, first off, um, assume that all of your textures are square. Uh, so you do have to make all of them a square. The square is going to be the width of the entire texture, and then from there, um, each individual frame is, go is going to have to be that width and that height. So I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames here, and they're all um, 16 by 16. Um, they're all connected. There's no space separating them. Uh, this little line that you can see right in here is just an error that I had with um, my, uh, when I originally created the texture. So that's part of the texture. It's not like a dividing line or anything. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this into our um, our source code and textures folder. So um, copy that in. And now we actually have to add something called an MC meta file. And an MC meta file, it stands for Minecraft metadata. Um, and what that does is it allows us to, without adding any code, um, to change textures and make them animated and that kind of thing. Uh, the reason for this is that um, like the animated textures is not something uh, directly related to Forge. It's actually there in vanilla Minecraft. So you could actually use this tutorial um, to create a texture pack if you wanted to. Now to create the MC meta, I'm going to open a program called text edit that comes built into Max. Um, you can use any program you want. I would recommend you use either TextEdit if you have it available, um, because that's what I'm using in the tutorial, or a program called Note Notepad or Notepad++. You, you should be able to download those um, online. Anyway, uh, before we actually start typing anything into our MC Meta file, I'm going to save it. And when we save it, we're going to save it in the same folder as our texture. Um, we have to make sure that it is a plain text. So with text edit, um, there are sometimes issues where it saves it as a rich text instead of a plain text. We don't want that because it adds extra formatting uh, to the file and that would confuse Minecraft. Um, but we're going to name it exactly the same name as our texture including the .png. So it'll be item.itemtutorial.png.mcmeta. And then we'll save it. And you'll see now we have our mcmeta file um, inside of our items texture folder. Make sure, again, that they're the same folder, same name. Now, inside of it, we're going to add the first basic line of, I guess you could call it code. Um, it's not really. But that is going to be two brackets, actually, yeah, two brackets for now. And then we're going to say, um, in parentheses, animation. And then after, outside of the parentheses, we're going to have a colon. And then we're going to add another pair of brackets, and then we'll just tab this down. And um, this sort of pseudocode is white space insensitive, which means that the amount of white space you have doesn't matter. Um, so you can space everything out um, the way you want it in order to make it more readable to yourself. Now, if we were to run now, it, we would have a basic animation with all of the default settings. Um, these would be 
the uh, frame speed and the frame order. So it would run from the top to the bottom, I believe, at a speed of um, one frame per tick. And there are about 20 ticks in a second. So you'll see we have our basic animated um, item. Again, I've already registered um, our item texture code, and you register it the same way you would a singular texture with this dot item icon equals the unlocalized name. So now, um, if we open up our, med, um, our MC Meta file again, we can um, edit a few more, I guess, parameters. So the first one I'm going to show you how to edit is the frame time. And this is how many frames or how many ticks, I guess, you want um, to pass before a frame changes. So the way we set this is in parentheses, frame time, or not parentheses, uh, quotation marks, frame time. And then we're going to close quotation marks. And then you have a colon. And now we're going to say the number that we want the frame time to be. So um, in this case, I guess we'll say we want it to be 5. Um, but you could set it to anything you want. The, mo the higher the number, the slower it'll be. Then, uh, if we run now, you'll see it'll be a fifth slower, or five times slower, sorry. A fifth as fast, I guess. If we load up this world, you'll see that it's not playing the animation at quite as fast of a speed. And you'll also see that we have a bunch of errors because I was testing a block. So now, uh, the last parameter we can have. And the one thing I'm not sure is when you have multiple parameters, if you put a comma afterwards, I'm going to put a comma there and assume that you should. Um, and then if you don't, we'll get an error and we'll remove the comma. Um, but this is the frame order. So by default, it's going to go from the top frame to the bottom frame and then right back up to the top. So the way we can change this, uh, this is useful if you had, say, a repeating texture where you were, like, it, if you had something fade in and fade out, uh, you could cut the amount of frames in half to save memory. And the way we do this is we're going to say, in quotation marks, frames outside of quotation marks, we're going to have another colon. And then we're going to have a pair of brackets. And inside of the, these brackets, we're going to have our order. So the way it works, I believe the top frame is 0, and then it increases incrementally from there. So um, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, and the way you actually set the order is inside of our brackets here. We're going to say, uh, for example, I'm going to have it go from 0, 1, 2, and then we'll go from here down. Uh, you won't really see a difference with this one because it's kind of random, but you would see a difference if you were using it um, in a real mod. So we're going to say 0 for the first frame, and then comma, and after after it or underneath it, your choice, we'll say the next frame we want to play. So we could say 1, and then 2, and then we could go down here and say 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Um, and then don't put a comma after the last frame. Now, if you were to put a frame that wasn't already in, um, in your texture, then it would just not run the animation. I'm not sure if it would crash Minecraft, but that might be uh, one of the issues if the animation doesn't run. So if we run um, now, again, you're not going to see a huge difference with this uh, particular texture because it's just really random colors. But if we go into our creative world, then you'll see it's going to go, yeah, sort of it's going, um, if I show you on our texture, it's going to go like this and then back to the bottom and up like this. And then it goes right back to zero when it restarts and it does it again. So 
that is actually going to be the end of this tutorial. Source code will be in the description as usual. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.